students in the concept of transmission line we will first start the analysis of the general solution of transmission line also called as transmission line equations so it is defining the expression for current and voltage at any point along a line of any length which has uniformly distributed constants uniformly distributed constants means the primary constants like r l c and g r is the series resistance L the series inductance, C the series, I mean the capacitance between the conductors and G the shunt conductance. So Y defines the shunt admittance which is a combination of shunt conductance and capacitance whereas Z represents the series impedance which is a combination of resistor and inductor. A general T network is shown over here. L is the overall length of the transmission line. Let us assume the E to be voltage between the conductors at any point, I the current in the line at any point and S is the distance up to the point of consideration which is measured from the receiving end. So we will move on to the analysis of how to derive the condition for the transmission line equation. Now consider the length L to be consisting of infinite number of T sections with each section is of length DS. The point under consideration is at a distance from the receiving end. So the length of the section is assumed with ZDS and YDS. Let us assume in the T section the elemental voltage drop is D equal to I ZDS. So from this equation, this is from the basic equation of Ohm's law. V is equal to IR instead of R it is Z representation. So D is equal to I ZDS. So D by ds can be defined by iz now the leakage current which is flowing through the shut admittance is written by d di equal to e into y of ds i can again rewrite the equation as di by ds equal to ey differentiate these two equations one and two with respect to s so d becomes d divided by ds becomes d square e divided by ds square however z remains constant i is di by ds so d square e divided by ds square becomes equal to z into di by ds is nothing but equal to ey so i have substituted that so d square i divided by ds square similarly s e is differentiated y is kept constant again substitute for d by ds two set of equations three and four are arrived at now we will solve for the above two second order differential equations so to solve that let me replace d by ds by m now d square e divided by ds square equal to zdy can be written as m so m square minus zdy equal to 0 or you take out e so it becomes m square minus zy of e equal to 0 which means that it is of the solution form m equal to plus or minus the root of zy so it is a e power mx plus b e power minus mx so the general solutions of V and I, it is a second order partial differential equation with the general solution of A e power mx plus B e power minus mx. So E and I, we are rewriting it as A e power root of zy of S. M is here root zy minus root zy. So A, B, C, D are the arbitrary constants of integration. Two set of equations we get. Now, this analysis is defined with the distance at S equal to 0 indicating the receiving end. At this point, at S equal to 0, E becomes equal to ER, I becomes equal to IR. So let me substitute S equal to 0 in this equation. E plus 0 is 1 is known. So E becomes equal to ER, A plus B. Likewise, I becomes equal to IR, C plus D. Name these equations as 8 and 9. Now again, differentiate this equation with respect to S. But in analysis, we have learnt D by DS is equal to IZ. So equate left hand side by IZ. So the equation is rewritten in this form. So i z equal to a root of z y e power root of z y of s b root of z y e power minus root of z y of s. So the equation is redefined by bring the z down, take it inside the square root, it becomes root of z square. So z and z will be cancelled. So the final equation will be a root of y by z e power root of z y of s. Same for this term also. So I name this equation. Similarly, let us write the current equation and equate di by ds to be equal to ey. So, c root of, again bring y down. So, it is root of y. When you bring down, it is root of 
this is divided by y inside the square root this y square y and y will be cancelled becomes root of z by y so the final equation of e and i are termed as 10 and 11 now with s equal to 0 e becomes equal to er i equal to ir in the above two equations again so the equations are rewritten as similarly e power 0 1 so this term is left out this is also 1 this term is left out so i e becomes equal to ir a root of y by z minus b root of y by z similarly for er with these two equations we can use the basic known definitions z naught equal to root of z by y which means that y by z root of equal to 1 by z naught also zr is equal to er divided by ir these two definitions we are going to make use of so the equation is redefined from equation 12 a root of y by z minus b root of y by z is equal to ir take out root of y by z so it is a minus b equal to ir i need a minus z so ir divided by root of y by z which is nothing but 1 by z naught by known definition so a minus b becomes ir of z naught same way write for equation 13 now we can solve for equation 8 9 and this 14 15 we have modified it in the similar form a plus b a minus b c plus d c minus d choose these two set of equations these two set of equations first i'm choosing a plus b a minus b these two set of equations add them find the constant a subtract them find the constant b mathematical analysis er plus ir z naught er plus in the place of ir i have replaced er by zr so it is er is taken out 1 plus z naught by zr therefore a becomes equal to er divided by 2a this is so er divided by 2 1 plus z naught by zr similarly by subtracting i find the constant of b similarly you can go for the analysis of two set of equations c plus d c minus d add them both get c value subtract them both get the d value now substitute these arbitrary constants of integration a b c d in the general equation of 6 and 7 we know these two are the general equations 6 and 7 i am substituting in the place of a b c d the values for example let me choose e equal to i know the value of a is er divided by 2 1 plus z naught divided by z r e power root of z y by s same way b is er by 2 1 minus of z naught by z r that is a simple difference now expand this term er by 2 e root of z y s plus er z naught divided by z r e root of expand this term take out the similar terms so these term and this term are similar this term and this term are similar now modify the term so er into e power root of z by f s plus e power minus root of z by f s divided by 2 it is of the form cos h of root of z by f s similarly here minus term so sin h of root of z by f s here one simple modification er by z r i modified as i r so same way at the sending n the transmission line equation which is of length l is modified as e equal to es with s replaced by l so er cos h of root of z y of l ir z not sin h of root of z y of l we know root of z y is a propagation constant gamma so the final equation takes up the form of es equal to er cos h of gamma l plus ir z not of sin h of gamma l similarly we can choose the constant equation i equal to substitute the values of c and d expand the terms rearrange the terms in the form of cos and sine at s equal to l the sending in current is equal to this equation so these two equations number 20 and 21 are called as the transmission line voltage and current equations thank you we'll continue in the next video